Okay, this is computer generated chess problem 00512 by Chastetica. Here black has got a king and four pawns against a much stronger white army. Black obviously threatens to promote on a1. But there's actually a mate in five here if white can play correctly. I will now show you the solution. The key move here is rook captures a2. White offers the rook. If black were to capture the rook, white wins even more quickly with king to c2, followed by king to a1, the only move, bishop to c3, check, king to a2, and bishop to d5, checkmate. So, black can't capture the rook if he wants to last as long as possible. So what does black play? King to a4, trying to escape. White calmly captures the pawn on e2. And now, black has the option of moving to b5 or b3. If black moves to b3, white wins a little more quickly with knight to c1 check. The king has to move to a4 and bishop to c6 checkmate. Notice how all of white's pieces seem to be working together. So black should play king to b5. And now white plays another quiet move, rook to c2. This allows pawn to move, the pawn on e3. If black were to proceed with a2, white then plays knight to d4 check. If the king escapes to a4, then his rook captures a2 mid. If the king moves, let's say, to b6, then it's rook to c6 mid. And of course, if the king were to capture the pawn, then it's still rook to c6 mid. Notice how the bishop on e1 is also guarding the square on a5. And what if black were to move king to a4 instead? The knight is brought in, knight to d4. Notice now how the black king can't move at all, and the only move is a2, in which case rook captures a2 mate. But let's rewind all the way back, and I'll show you just the main line. So rook captures a2, king to a4, knight captures e2, king to b5, rook to c2, king to a4, bishop to c6, check, king to b3, and knight to c1, mate. This is yet another variation. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.